What's up guys, Ruff here, and I am back with another anime episode reaction for you guys today, but this time it is our live stream of Overlord episode 9 and 10, so I hope you guys are ready. I had a blast doing this. We were in a little bit of a rush, so I was not I was only able to do two episodes instead of the normal four or five that we've done in the past, so next video, expect the next three and getting to the finale, so that's kind of the plan for this video. I also wanted to kind of explain this little reaction to explain uh, we've made quite a bit of changes to the live streams. I've added emote only chat during the episode specifically to uh, avoid any kind of spoilers, uh, me having to worry about moderating the chat and worrying about any issues. So that has all been addressed. That way my focus is on the anime and delivering the best reaction that I can give to you guys. I also completely scrapped the timer from the videos, mainly because the timer was or originally designed so you guys could watch along, but after asking a lot of people, that doesn't really seem to be a main focus that people want. They would rather have a better reaction than have a timer. And the timer basically hindered uh, the quality of the reactions. It prevented me from being able to pause because the timer didn't have any way to pause. It forced us to sit through the opening every single time we did an episode, which as I'm sure you could imagine, when doing a reaction after five episodes straight, there isn't much more to talk about the opening. So you end up just talking about a bunch of nonsense that's irrelevant. And, and I feel like that just results in not the best quality reaction for you guys. So the timer's gone. Emote only chat's there. I hope you guys like these changes. If you have any criticism input or any info you can give me, constructive criticism, don't be an asshole, okay? But you know what I mean. Uh, let me know in the comments section below. I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you at the end of the video. All right, let's do it. Episode 11. I'm ready. I'm actually really curious how they're going to end this first season. I don't really know what to expect, to be honest. All I know is our man started really flexing last episode, and I'm on board for it. So is she actually betraying him? I know they, like, talked about it. That they think that she is. But we didn't get any actual confirmation of it yet. Oh my god, there's a bunny girl. Wait. Did she always have those ears? Or am I tripping? Because I swear she didn't always have them ears. I think I'm losing my mind. Look, look, look. All right. I, I try my best. All right. I'm watching a lot of fucking anime, okay? I'm watching a lot of anime. They get mixed up sometimes. He said iron. So they're actually pretty high up. But I mean, that's not going to be anything. Yeah, they got destroyed. I just, I just keep wondering if anybody is going to show up that actually gives Ainz a run for his money. And I don't think it's going to happen, to be honest. Little work. Little work. You shut the fuck up, bro. He busted his ass for that. Level 100 in his other game. You shut your face. This guy's a dick. That's very true. What's weird, though, is that it seems like Ainz had no idea she went there. So she's she's doing this for some reason that he's not aware of yet. Honey Peanuts! What kind of fucking name is that? Honey Peanuts! It's a great fucking question. <laughs> I'm going to get roasted for saying the name. How else am I supposed to pronounce it? He's saying he's a god, and you guys are all trash. What the fuck? 
Man, this guy is like not. He's talking mad shit. I don't like him. <laughs> Yo, can we can we all just agree real quick? Like, fuck this man's. Like, I don't like him. He's like, we don't even know how strong it is, bro. Well, it wiped out your entire team. So obviously, it's stronger than you, dumb shit. This man's offering to help you. Sit the fuck down, Jesus. Flex on that motherfucker. Oh, they betrayed him. I think. He did. They just beat him. Oh my God, they just beat him to death. Holy shit. Damn! Why didn't we get to see it? Come on, I like blood. People getting maimed and shit. I'm not a site. I'm not a sociopath. <laughs> I guess that's fair. You guys don't got a king shame. I did not expect that. I mean, I'm not surprised based on how that guy was acting, but I definitely did not expect that kind of reaction. Not for them to beat him to death. She's possessed. She's totally possessed. I think. Or she's not. I think she is. I was right. Or not. So, who else could have controlled her, I guess? Was it the girl who ate that man's in the last episode with her titties? Because that shit confused the hell out of me. I definitely did not expect titty eating. Mini Bob, thank you for the 12 months. I appreciate it. We're getting like hella information right now. Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, am, I, got, I got that. I've, I've gathered that. What I want to know, honestly is like how like they're so powerful right like we've established that they are so powerful but somehow she got mind controlled like doesn't that just seem odd i feel like it just seems weird unless it's somebody from the world It was. It's a trap. Yo, something ain't right. Something ain't right. I don't know what it is, but something ain't right. I don't like this. What the fuck? So I'm not good. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, 
JPF, thank you for the follow, man. I appreciate it, dude. What does a world level item even mean? Give me the details, Bone Daddy. I need to know. So it sounds to me like somebody's hunting them down who has powers equivalent to theirs. Which is the fact that they got transferred, I guess, isn't that surprising. It's still, this guy still seems hella sketchy, dude. Like, I don't know why. He just sketches me out for some reason. Who the fuck is that? That's not Titty Girl, right? I forgot her name. The problem is she ate, she, her titties ate somebody. And now all I can think of is her name is Titty Girl. I need to know her name. It is Titty Girl. I was right. Look, when, when your titties eat somebody, you become Titty Girl. That's how it works. It'd be like if my penis ate somebody. I'd immediately become penis man. That would never... There'd, there'd be no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Okay. So this man has a magic mirror of sorts. Or not. This is actually crazy that he has all these areas and they don't even know that he he has this. I mean, he probably would know, right? The fuck are you? Who invited you here? Huh? Oh. Wait, what? I just got hella confused, son. Why was he pretending to be that other guy? Got you, Wiggins. <laughs> oh my god. This guy's amazing. I guess we'll find out, right? I like this dude. I wonder why he decided to change his name. I think he explained it, actually, now that I think about it. I might have to go back and check that part out again. I love this man. Like, he, he is the exact kind of character 
I like would not have expected to be in this series. Like he's so different from everybody else. Don't be mean to this man. Look at him. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> what the fuck? This is amazing. He's so weird. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. I don't think that he was saying that. I just I don't even know what he was trying to do. Whatever it was, Irons did not like that. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. Are the golems strong? That's the real question. And they look pretty solid. You could say that. Depends on what you consider that, I, I guess. This is like actually kind of sad when you think about it. Like all of his friends just scrapped. Oh, they were hella close. I mean, dude, I feel like if you play an MMO with people, you're always going to be hella close. You know what I mean? Like when you really think about it, at the end of the day, MMOs are like endless, right? So if you've spent countless hours with people, like I feel like you're going to be close no matter what, you know? God, I'm so happy we scrapped the timer. Ugh, being able to pause is so convenient. Rule over us forever, please. No. And she is... Interesting, to say the least. What's in what's odd is that he does still have compassion, even though he's losing his humanity. Like he still has feelings. And I just like keep wondering if that's going to change as the series progresses. Wow. Let's not let's not go that far. Chill out. He just doesn't have a penis. That's all he's trying to say. Like, girl, relax. Probably.
20. Okay. So then what's the issue? Oh, I see what he's saying. Because he doesn't know the power of the guys they're going up against yet. And they're giving like hella information right now. Like this is a lot to take in. Bro, you're gonna, you're, this girl's gonna lose her mind. Like, are you aware how much she wants your body? Bro, have you seen yourself? You are like a god among gods in this world. The fuck you mean? This dude is like so on edge. Like, it's just, it's so weird that somebody as powerful as him is so sketched out by literally everything. Like, he ain't no Anos. Anos don't give a fuck. Anos just flexing. All the time. I gotta kill her. Why? Why? Damn. Yo, he just shat all over Alberto. Probably. I mean, somebody needs to point it out, right? You can't go in completely blind, bro. Bro, don't let her know that she's an AI. Chill, son. Relax. Okay, he changed the subject. Yo, he changed the subject real quick, dude. <laughs> He changed that subject like that. He's like, I ain't answering your fucking question. We're about to go down. Episode 12. Let's go. My balls are ready. They're prepared. I just like, I'm just so curious. I just want to know what's going to happen. Like we haven't seen them fight each other yet. So like the idea of him fighting Shaltier is going to be insane. At least a man can dream, you know? How did he not bring his armor? The fuck? This is weird. Why does he look like a homeless skeleton? What are you doing? Something wrong with this man. I'm telling you, dude. Yes. Yo, on some real shit, I can't believe I'm pausing to say this, but I feel like it's it's necessary. 
here's my issue, right? If I ever learn Japanese, there's those words that are like, they mean something different if you say them in English, and it trips me out every time, and I don't know why. Like, I don't know what it is. I also, can I just say, this is like the fifth time I've done that where I've paused right before the opening started. I'm becoming a god at that, and I don't get it. I'm just, I just have terrible timing. It's fine. I also find it weird to think that none of these, that Shaltir is the strongest out of all of them. Which is what Ayn's kind of said without really saying it. I just find that odd. Bro, he said that he wanted to go alone. Well, I guess if he was lying, that would that would explain it. Oh, so he did just lie to them. I'm telling you, dude, this dude's sketchy. I think I'm tripping myself, but I don't know why. I just keep assuming this guy's going to betray him. I don't know why. He just looks like a guy that would betray somebody. I'm sure he won't. And I don't know why. I just have a feeling that he will, but I just have this weird feeling. Listen, bitch. Albano does what she wants, okay? Jesus. This man don't believe in my boy Eins, all right? I don't appreciate it. Let's go. Damn right. Trust your boy. Believe in Lord Ines. Come on, man. You're supposed to believe in him. That is kind of true, dude. If When you think about it, like the fact that they worship him like he's a god because like they created him. Like, if he vanishes, then what? Like, what would they do? Would they just... Like, I don't think they know any other reality outside of following one of these guys. So, like, the idea of him going away... I don't know what... I feel like they'd go into full-on panic mode. Bro, shut your fucking face. Yeah! I like this man's. Yeah! Blasphemy! Shut your face. Telling freaking her she's gonna have to step down my ass. This is so weird. Because don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. I understand that they explained that Shaltir is like he's weak to her, but the idea of somebody they created being that powerful against him just seems really odd. Like I feel like he should be so much higher above them. That it seems weird that this is even a question. Yes.
I also still don't understand why he ditched his armor, but I guess we don't know if the armor even matters. Bro, I don't... Dude, she got controlled. I, I don't think she has any idea what the fuck is going on, dude. I mean, I guess we'll see, bro. You better step your goddamn game up. So she's being controlled like she's in a game. What the fuck? Jesus. I, I, I see you. I, I see you using all the goddamn buffs. Jesus Christ, man. Can't you just say activate all boosts? Like, what the fuck is this? I get it. You got a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. He's still going. You done? Jesus, sir. My God. <laughs> That was so much. It is a bold tactic. Our man's ain't playing around. I think we can all agree there. What the fuck is happening? It is weird though that he has like these items back from the game that became real too. Come on, boy. Also, the fact that he doesn't even know if there's going to be other people that show up to attack him, it does seem dumb that he would just use that magic right away. Wow, that was a much, much bigger... Jesus fucking Christ. What the hell? What? She wasn't even affected! I don't like that. This bitch is crazy. Oh, she's, she has no idea. Oni Master, thank you for the follow. I don't think she has any idea what the hell is going on. Is 
This is so weird. She literally is. She's being controlled almost as if she's in a game. Like, it's super weird. It's just such a weird, like, control. I still don't understand why he ditched his armor. That just seems dumb. I will say I'm shocked. I, I definitely did not expect the final battle. Well, I guess we don't know if this is the final battle, but I'm guessing. I would have never expected that it would have been somebody from his guild. Well, NPC from his guild. It wouldn't have surprised me if it was actually like one of the dudes from the guild. Then why does she think that you did it? This is wild. Yo, that's an OP weapon. What the fuck? I am so confused. Cause it's 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 like she still respects him, but at the same time, I don't even know, dude. See, even she still thinks. Like, even she is like, where the fuck is his armor at? Like, it just seems weird that he wouldn't wear his armor. Dude, she is like OP. What the hell? Oh, shit. Damn. Holy crap. I didn't expect her to be like this level of strong. I just want to know, like, who is controlling her. And I'm probably not going to find out because there's three seasons of this bitch. What the fuck? Hey, yo, bitch, calm down. Knock it off. Leave Bone Daddy alone. I don't like this. Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Lord Pereroncino. That's just rude. That's just rude. I cannot believe how strong she is. This is insane. 
It's also kind of bullshit that she could see how much MP he has. I just, this is making me uncomfortable. I didn't expect the fight to go this way. Like, I thought they were exaggerating, to be honest, like his chance of winning. It's just weird. You're going to run out of your skills, girl. Unless, oh, maybe that's what he's doing. Maybe he's actively trying to get her to run down her skills. Isn't that obvious? Why are you, why are you even surprised by that? I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, she still got MP though. So I feel like you're just overthinking things. Oh, she ran out of her skills. Because he ain't no bitch. What you think? Or not? I feel like if I was in charge of the guild and I was getting my ass handed to me as an NPC, I don't think I'd be proud. I feel like I would be like disappointed in myself as a guild leader. Oh. Why? Why do I keep somehow magically pausing right before they explain something? Like consistently. Are there actual shocks? What? He just summoned. Are you kidding me? There was actual sharks in there. What the fuck? That's amazing. Damn. I have to say, I feel like the CGI is getting better as the show progresses. Which is nice to see because it was not great in the beginning. And people were hella triggered in the YouTube comments. Like, how dare you say it's bad? I'm like, well, because it is. Damn, she got serious, dude. Like, she was really calm up until now. Girl, he ain't playing. Like, are you trying to die? Wait, what? Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is this bullshit? She said she was out of skills. Now she's summoning animals and a fucking angel version of herself. This is ridiculous. Why 
is she? This bitch, I didn't realize what she was doing at first. Oh my God. What the fuck? This sneaky motherfucker. That's really smart. That's broken though. Like, I think we could all agree that is broken. Like, that is so OP. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh. Wait. Never mind. You know what really sucks? I'm going to pause right here. You know what really sucks for YouTube? Because the song is playing during this, I'm going to have to mute this completely. Rip YouTube, dude. I don't mean shit. Yeah, I mean, we're aware of that. You gonna beat your ass next episode. I'm ready. Wait. No. 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 No way. No. No. Is she going to beat him? God, this cliffhanger is going to be even worse than the last one. You motherfucker. Bro. Episode 13. Let's go. It is about to go down. It is about to go down. I love this. They're like, screw the opening. We'll play the damn credits right here. Getting a little bit of a recap too. I just want to know how he's going to win this. Mercenary, thank you for the two months. I appreciate it. I'll get you your waifu or husbando right after this episode. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Player versus non-player. False information. So he wasn't weakened by the holy then. Yo! Fucking his IQ's dumb high, son. I did not expect that. Yeah, he fucking lied. <laughs> oh my god, this is great. Oh my god, this is fantastic. He's like, you have no idea, bitch. What? He had armor under that shit the whole time? How does that even make sense? Bro! 
Woo! Lord, touch me's armor. All right, I'm done. Well, apparently he is because he just put it on. So they didn't even know he could do this. Ooh, that fucking scream, dude. Oh my God. It was like her perfect weakness, wasn't it? Yo, so he grabbed like bits and pieces from all of his fucking crew. Yo! I see what he did. Bro, my man just went from OP to O fucking P, son! Oh my god! Dude, this is nuts. I I have to say I did not. Ex oh my god! What the fuck? What do you mean an opening? You just destroyed your fucking arm. He has all of their weapons, all of their shit. Dude, I did not expect this. I did not expect this. Now we understand why he brought them popsicle sticks. I thought they were just decorative. <laughs> Dude, he has everything. The dude who fucking made her. Yo, that's a hell of a way to go out. That is a hell of a way to go out. Well, you fucked up. Bye, bitch. Bye. I still have no idea how this season is going to actually end. Whoo! Look at that open or that weapon. I don't know why I said open. I don't know words anymore. The fuck are you talking about? Dude, this guy has no faith. I don't like this dude. Like this guy just has no faith. Like that man has no faith. Like she also only has one arm, bro. I'm just saying. I mean, he was a, you guys thought he was at a disadvantage and look what he did. Like, come on, bro. You guys have no idea what the hell is going on. Like, I just want to know how she's still fighting so well, missing an arm. 
Like her entire arm is gone, bro. Like, what do you mean? The fuck? I want to know what it was for, too. Tell me, bro. Tell me, bro. Oh, shit. He planned it out on a fucking timer? Okay. Yo, she's in full on panic mode. She's like, oh fuck. Oh shit. Oh god damn it. This is bad. Oh, he gonna annihilate her. Girl, you out. Oh shit. Let's go, Bone Daddy. What the fuck? What was that? Why was there an eyeball? I saw that eyeball. What was that eyeball? I saw that eyeball. Don't act like I didn't see it. Bye. I didn't expect that. I'm not even gonna lie. Podcast is never recorded on Saturdays. Never has been, never will be. Well, I can't say never will be, but never has been. I didn't expect that, but obviously we got half an episode left. So something else is about to happen. I just don't know what. Especially with this being a season finale. You see what I'm saying? Fuck this dude. And he's not believing having ass. All right? Believe in your boy. Oh, you we didn't know that you'd be so, you would win. Well, fuck you, bro. He did win. Fucking believe in your goddamn leader, you son of a bitch. God, he's so annoying. Dude, dude does not believe in him at all. Like why? Just triggers me. Believe in your boy. That is a great question. I love that they have all this money. And arguably nowhere to really use it. I mean, I guess they could use it in this world, but I'm assuming the money's different, right? Oh, never mind. Does that work? That works? Wow, that's a lot of money. Um... He just spent all the damn money. Bro, why'd you have to resurrect her naked? You couldn't have gave her a goddamn crop top or something? Maybe a pair of panties? Poor girl. This is bullshit. Here's 
Here's a blanket. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Shaltier, in case you were wondering, you're alive, and everybody in the entire guild saw you naked. That is not how blankets work. I just want to make that clear. Wait. Did she think they were going to bang? Hold on a second. Oh my God, she did. She thought they were going to bang. She thought they were going to bang. She's like, oh shit, there's people here. Like, she's like, oh shit, that's what's going down. <laughs> oh, everybody's watching. She's like, oh my God, we get to fuck. <laughs> like, you didn't notice everybody else standing around? You thought he invited a watch party? He ain't filming a porno, girl. Well, that's not good. You're telling me that after all that, he still doesn't really? Like, what? Are her titties gone? You're right. She did have big titties before, didn't she? I'm just saying this seems like a justified reason. Her titties were removed. That's unfair. I don't understand. How was he able to resurrect her, but her titties didn't come with her? That's so random. I thought something looked different with her, but I wasn't sure what it was. Maybe they were fake. I don't know. She bought the titties in the game. So when she came back, she was the default character. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. It might be as simple as that. Like the dude who created her, created her, and then gave her big titties after. So just, since she was reborn, she came back normal. I want more of the dude in the military clothes. He's funny as shit. My thing is like she was being controlled. It's not like she betrayed him on purpose. I don't see why it's such a big deal. That's a fucking leader, man. This is a leader right here. Him seven up taking responsibility. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, but like, dude, you gonna find her titties or like, you just gonna leave her there with no tits? Eight. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. I mean, I would hope so. You got two more seasons to prove me wrong, buddy. I just want to know who the hell it is. I still have a feeling it's going to be somebody from there. Linux, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it.
Like, I, dude, I really do have a feeling that that's the issue. Like, I'm like 99.999% sure that it is just going to get really crazy and he's going to find out that one of the enemies is somebody from the guild. Unless it's maybe somebody from, like, another guild, like a rival guild that maybe we just don't haven't, he hasn't talked about yet, which I guess is a possibility. But I feel like it would be a hell of a plot twist if it was somebody from his guild, you know? Maybe somebody that was his guild and started a new guild? I don't know. He going to go turn a bunch of lizard men into undead? Damn it, again! I'm sorry, YouTube. This song is like copyright central. As soon as this song comes on, it has to be muted completely. I guess they're not getting ending. Wow, why is the song on so early? What the fuck? I think this is also a tease of what to expect. This is like not the kind of people I expected it to be. I don't know. I guess they're just giving us like a little recap of sorts. Just like all of the characters that are still alive, at least. They're going to get jumped. Or not? Maybe I'm tripping. I was going to say, she's new. Who the fuck is... They're throwing a lot of information at us right now, dude. All right, so there's Miss Aicho. I eat you with my titties. We have this dude. Well, I still feel like they're involved in some way. I don't know what it is about them, but they just give me that vibe for some reason. Dead guy? Maybe? Or not? Or yes or not? No. I can't believe he got away. Everybody is giving me suspicious vibes. Honestly, dude, I think the fact that Ainz is so sketched out, I think is causing me to feel sketched out, you know? Yeah, well, you say that, but you're wrong. I like it, though, that he's finally stepped up. He's finally adamantite. The fuck? Like, he's just like, I'm a badass. Everybody out my face. <laughs> Damn. 
I right, he's at, he's got a plan. Our boy's got a plan, dude. He's got a plan. I like that though, because that that shows that he doesn't he's not holding back no more. Like he's already like, I got I'm I'm out of man tight. It's time to flex. And you can you already tell season two is about to go down, dude. Oh, oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so good. Well, that was my live stream for Overlord episode nine and ten. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, if you did, be sure to like the video, subscribe, and turn on that bell, especially if you're already subscribed, because you might not realize this is my VODs channel at Rough Senpai VODs. So yes, this is a second channel dedicated for my live stream reactions. And if you are exclusively only on my live streams, you're like, whoa, whoa wait, there's an original normal channel. Yes, we are just under 30K subs over at my channel, Rough Senpai. I have more produced content over there that is not based on live streams for One Piece, JoJo's, Attack on Titan, and more. We have a bunch of different series over there on the channel, seasonal anime, and some OGs. So I hope you guys go check it out. Let me know your thoughts, and let's see if we can crush that 30K. But thank you guys so much for all of the continued support here on the VODs channel, as well as over on the main channel. I cannot thank you guys enough. And if you want any links to any of my socials or anything, they'll be in the description box below. Thank you so much for the support again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.